Greetings, students. I hope you're doing well. We're in week five of distance learning. And I know that by now you've heard that we will not be continuing school in person uh, for the rest of this academic year. I know a lot of you are upset about it, but this is the situation we're in. If you'd like to connect with your teachers, you know that we do offer Zoom sessions. And if uh, a lot of you join, then you will be able to see a lot of your classmates virtually as well. So uh, on week five of distance learning, we're going to finish off our South Asia unit. We will focus on culture this time around. And specifically, you will learn about a religion called Sikhism that a lot of people in South Asia practice. And you will also learn about some holidays that people in this region practice as well. And you will go to the your Google Classroom. Remember, your assignments are going to be posted uh, under Classwork tab. Currently, uh, you are looking at my stream, uh, but where you will find your actual assignments will be in Classwork. And real briefly, guys, if you have not filled out the device questionnaire yet, uh, which I posted last week on Monday, I do want you to do that for me. This way, it'll be easier for me to understand if you have any kind of questions or problems with your um, technology, it'll be easier for me to figure out how to help you out. So this week, you will ask in previous week, have two assignments, and we're in week five of distance learning. Both of them are pretty easy, but I will start with distance learning assignment number 11. Uh, you've done something similar just this past week. It's gonna ask you to learn about some holidays that people in this region celebrate. And as you watch the videos, you will be asked to complete the three to one summary about what you've seen, to questions you might still have, and a connection that you made to something that you've either, either experienced in your personal life, it could be something you've read in a book, seen on TV or internet, something, uh, some kind of a connection you can make uh, about what you're looking at. Your next assignment is going to be distance learning assignment 10. This might take you a little bit more time to do, but remember, you don't have to overwhelm yourself. You can uh, spend about 20 minutes a day working on those assignments. So this assignment is split up into several sections. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is to look at the world religions map. The video will explain to you how to look at it if you don't understand. This is a hyperlink that will uh, link you to the map. And you will be asked to answer some questions about the map. For example, one of the questions is list two countries that practice Buddhism. If you go to the world religions map, you will notice that the key tells you that Buddhism is in red color. So you will look for red on the map. And for example, one of your countries will be Mongolia. Another country in red will be Thailand. And that's what you will type in to the answers to the questions, for example. Okay. Uh, the second part of this assignment is going to be to read about the religion called Sikhism. In order to do that, you will need to open this PDF of the story. And honestly, guys, the story follows or the questions that you'll be asked to answer, they follow the story. For example, the very first question is answered in the very, very first area of the reading. Where was the religion founded? The answer is right there. So the questions do follow the reading. The next part of this assignment, after you read, you will be asked to compare this religion 
to another belief system, uh, you're going to be writing about how is it similar to any of the other belief systems or religions. You don't need to compare it to all of them. You can just pick one. If I were you, I would probably pick Hinduism as a, a religion to compare it to because it has a lot of things in common with Sikhism. And then finally, uh, this is an optional assignment. If you'd like to receive extra points, uh, then you can uh, access the Voyager about a holiday called Vaisakhi, which Sikhs celebrate. And then as you look at the Voyager, uh, you'll be asked to answer the questions. This, this slide, though, is optional. If you don't want to do this one, you don't have to. Guys, one more time. Remember, if you have any questions, I do recommend that you join our Zoom office hour sessions. Um, all you'll have to do is you'll have to click on the virtual link. You will be asked to download or run Zoom if you don't have it installed. And then you will uh, open the meeting. And if it asks you for a code, then the code is right here. Zoom sessions start at 3 p.m. If you need any help, please let me know. I hope you guys are going to have a good week. One more important thing, the teachers, this grading cycle that started starting pretty much this week, we are going to be required to put in your grades in the grade book. Your uh, report card for the fifth six weeks will be coming out on Friday. On that report card, you will not see any grades, but you will see some comments. And I will be sharing that uh, with your teacher, I mean, with your parent about how to access the report card but that information will not go out on fr until friday however for this rest of the academic year we will be putting in grades in the grade book so if you still haven't done any assignments it's not too late to join our google classroom and begin working